So I'll be showing you how to install Git Bash onto your computer on Windows. So the first thing to do is to check that you don't already have Git Bash, because you might well. If you're using Git already, then you will have Git Bash installed. And the way to check is just to search for Bash. As you can see, I've got nothing here, so it's not installed. So let's get it. So what you need to do is just Google Git and go to the Windows download page. There it should start downloading, and if it's not downloading, you can just download it manually and it will go into your downloads folder. Once you've got it, you just double click on the installer and it should get running. And one of the reasons I'm making this video rather than just telling you to um, install it is because it gives you heaps of options when you go to download it um, and it asks you a whole bunch of questions and you should just go with all the defaults. So don't worry about any of this stuff, just blow through it. Um, and once this is done, we'll be able to check that it's working and it's all set up and that will set us up in order to um, start using SSH and SCP to access our server in the cloud. Um, just one thing to note while this is downloading, we can go and have a look in our program files where this is all being installed under Git. And you'll see in the bin folder, which is the binary, that um, there's the bash executable there that we want. And so this is the um, program that we'll be running in order to, um, yeah, sort of pretend that we're in a Linux environment and get as close to it as we can on a Windows machine without doing anything too complicated. So once this is done, we're going to boot up bash, have a quick poke around, and then just check that we have SSH and SCP available. Just give it a sec to finish. Cool, and once that's done, we can just find bash by searching for bash, launch it. And what we have here is a terminal window similar to CMD or PowerShell. And um, you'll be able to use a lot of the uh, basic Linux commands to sort of manipulate the terminal. Things like ls for seeing what's in the current directory, pwd to see what's in the current, uh, like what the current working directory is. You can change directory to the C drive, you can look at what's in there. And what's important right now is that we have SSH available. So we can type SSH and see that it's there. And then we have SCP available, which is also there, which is good. So we'll be using SSH to log into the server and we'll be using SCP to transfer files to the server. And that's all we'll need. So once that's done, um, you're ready to go and create a um, your SSH keys, which is the next video.